Hello friends, Stevie's from South Dakota coming at you with both barrels today. <laughs> so anyway, this uh, rag bry shirt that I'm wearing, uh, for anybody from Iowa that might hear this, um, I challenge you to tell me what rag bry stands for. I, I'll try my best. It's uh, uh, the Register's Annual Great Bike Ride Across Iowa. Of course, they closed it this year like everything else because of a pandemic that's not a pandemic i'm thinking about having some uh masks made i haven't looked into any companies that do it yet um there's that nose itch again that's a symptom of covid 19. Uh, there's a thousand symptoms and we've all got it whether we ex <laughs> even if we don't exhibit symptoms we probably have it what a pandemic uh, you know, you can imagine the Spanish flu, supposedly 50, 60 million, you hear different things, you know, it's hard to get the truth, of not only in current events, but in the history. I mean, if we can't sort out the current events truth, why would we believe that, oh, history has, although I suppose in some case, or in some sense of the word, you know, history does sort out the lies from the truth, you know, so I guess there would be a difference there, but so anyway, the pandemic continues. Uh, Rag Bri was closed this year. It's a great event. I went, well, I think this was 2014. Um, and uh, I better put my seatbelt on in more ways than one. Uh, I went to the 2014 event and I took a bunch of photos of the characters there. They went through Okaboji that year and had a great time. Uh, you know, bikers are a different group of people. Uh, many likable ones and quite a significant percentage of them are are troubling to me. <laughs> so, um, and I guess if you don't think that, or you don't see that, then I, I can't explain it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, uh, which leads into what I'm about to talk about. You know, if, if it doesn't matter if you're left wing, right wing, ding -a -ling, or chicken wing, if you cannot see two things, number one, that the World Health Organization slash United Nations, and of course Bill Gates, who basically runs the WHO, Mr. Vaccine. If you cannot see that they are dictating policy to the nations uh, in a complete takedown of the sovereignty of nations by issuing all these health decrees that, you know, dutifully the governors and health departments, at least in America, and it looks like the whole world, are complying and obedient to, I don't know what they're afraid of, uh, nobody's challenging this phony narrative. And as I've said the other day, I mean, whatever COVID-19 is or isn't, I suspect it's a engineered virus that is uh, akin to a mild and in some cases severe flu, which we've been uh, under attack from for a long time. That's why every year they say get your flu vaccines, uh, which are 34% efficacious, by the way, in the last five years, those are CDC figures. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and even Tony Fauci, the New England Journal of Medicine, said that um, in, I think it was February or March article, where he said that this COVID-19 will be seen as a somewhat, a, a type of a severe seasonal flu outbreak, and I actually think that's very exaggerated, because the numbers are inflated and they're dishonest, but that's, just, that's another story. And, uh, but he said that, uh, you know, mortality rate will be probably about that point, not 1%, 0.1%, one in a thousand, in other words. Uh, and obviously these are people that are well over uh, 60, most of them are in their 70s and 80s, which, according to the Bible, we all die about 70 or 80. <laughs> so, but now every death, you know, the, in the world is now COVID-19. It's kind of like global warming. You know, every problem we have, economy, economic, relationship, volcanoes, earthquakes, it's all because of global warming, don't you know? So, oh man, there's just so many things about this. But anyway, if you can't see that this is two things, the takedown of the nations and a new world order, and this is definitely the new world order takedown, without a doubt. It's not, there's been no democratic discussion about this in America. It's a top-down operation, and as I've said, Trump has laid down for it completely. He'll play this game, This and, and Trump is a master. That's why, you know, one guy I like, he, uh, he says that Trump is a psychological warfare agent, and part of psychological warfare is where you basically, you know, you say, you know, like the Native Americans used to say in South Dakota, he speaks with a forked tongue. So Trump will, 
you know, lay down for the WHO to basically run our country vis-a-vis all these stupid health regulations, social distancing, masks, and all the other nonsense, shutting down, you know, small businesses that are probably never going to come back, destroying people's lives and psyches. Trump laid down for that, Mr. Make America Great Again, but I'm going to tell you, Obama would have done the same thing, and Biden, and Bush, because they're all part of the Masonic New World Order apparatus. It, it, I, I, for some reason, and Christians should be the first ones to understand this, I cannot get most people, and, and, and including most Christians, to understand, forget about, like I said, left wing, right wing, dingling, chicken wing. It's really about authoritarianism versus freedoms that are guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States. It's not that complicated, people, but man alive, to find somebody that understands that, like I said, the two things is that... Uh, you know, it's kind of like that Toby Keith song. Who's that man running my life? Well, who's that organization called the Who running our lives? And they are. Do the research. or You don't have to do research. Just open your eyes. Look at the signs in Flat South Dakota that say wear a mask and temperatures taken. And, oh boy, here we go. The pandemic. People are dropping like flies in Main Street. Platt. Uh, like flies in November in South Dakota. Don't you know? It's a pandemic. And then the second thing, I guess I've already touched on it, is that, uh, you know, Trump has laid down for this. So what I was going to say about his psychological warfare uh, mindset, he'll, you know, say, well, we're cutting off all funding to the who. You know, so he plays this double game. So he gets the so-called conservatives and most Christians to go, see, he hates the who and we hate the who. Blah, blah, blah. But yet he has not lifted a finger. It's like Jesus said to the Pharisees and scribes, you lay all these burdens on people, but you don't lift one finger to lift these burdens that you lay on these people. Okay? And that's exactly what Trump has been about. He'll you know, say, we're cutting funding for the WHO or the Palestinian PLO, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then he'll just continue to allow what I've called the quote-unquote rape of Dan Key, the rape of the rights of the United States citizens. And it's amazing to me that the vast majority of people that are well-educated, and I'm going to just talk about the Christians and conservatives, who really ought to know better, they ought to be able to, number one, like Paul said, Satan said, do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. When I talk to Christians about the New World Order, and I've been talking about this for 34 years, it's like they look at me, you know, the proverbial deer stunned by headlights. Well, what do you mean the New World Order? The New World Order is in Scripture. Okay, Daniel talked about it, Revelation talked about it, Paul talked about it, Jesus talked about it. Basically, you know, Revelation 12, 13, you're going to have two people in power leading the world, okay, and they're going to enforce their dictates with a mark that you're going to have in the hand, and that mark is going to be associated with number 666. And uh, so already we're seeing the setup for that happening with this vaccine slash biometric tracking chip. Uh, House of Representatives Bill H.R. 6666 introduced in May 1st this year. God's trying to make it really clear that he's coming soon. And the tribulation where, again, the man of Christ causes all to take a mark in their hand or in their forehead. And I have to finish this so that they can buy or sell. And now they're talking about if you don't have this so-called health card, uh, you know, tattoo, wherever they're going to put it. Uh, you know, you're, you're going to be maybe not even allowed into, uh, you know, grocery stores, athletic events to fly, etc., etc. So in other words, it's almost basically the same as a Revelation 13 mark of the beast that you can, in other words, in order to buy or sell, in other words, to function in society as we've all known, known in all our lives, you're going to have to have this mark. So everything's coming together, people. You've got to start doing the math. And it's not, it's basic math. It's two plus two is four. And if you're not seeing it, I would suggest that you might be under what Paul referred to in Thessalonians as the uh, Thessalonians delu- Thessalonian delusion where he said that literally God will put a delusion upon those who refuse to receive the love of the truth, the love of Jesus Christ, and then he gives them over to their own antagonism and sin against his son, Jesus Christ, and he gives them over to that sin of rejection that people have, and, and, and rejecting the truth, not receiving the truth, and then they get, you know, and that's what I think what we're seeing is, in other words, if you can't see this New World Order set out being uh, biblical prophecy being fulfilled before our very eyes, I would suggest that you probably, well, either you're not saved or if you're saved, you are under 
uh, at least a, a fairly strong delusion and might even be the actual Thessalonian delusion. And God forbid that, that would be true of any of you watching this. And uh, get on your knees and repent if you are and ask, uh, you know, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Father in heaven for forgiveness, uh, you know, that uh, you have not received the love of the truth. But open your eyes, people. It's in, it's in your face. Is it too close? Is that why you can't see it? <laughs> okay. Steve from South Dakota. Join me again, won't you? Thanks.